Famous artists Salvador Dali, Andy Warhol, or George August Zetzer may still be alive and living right next door. Just because a $5 ad in the obituary states someone is dead does not mean they are dead. In the Chesterland News, the obituary stated that famous artist George August Zetzer passed on July 4, 2012. Cleveland Home Inspector Marco Volk found George to be alive and well, displaying his artwork on his front lawn in the city of Richmond Heights. Maybe George had to die so the city of Richmond Heights curb appeal green grass front lawn cronies would get off his back. Who would define nice curb appeal as green grass and trim bushes anyways? When I get out of my car during routine summer afternoon suburban neighborhood inspections, I hear lawnmowers cutting grass, irrigation systems sprinkling water, and weed whackers whacking. I truly believe that green grass is one of man's stupidest inventions and is a conspiracy to waste our time and money. George August Zetzer is spending his time on art and self-expression. People go to museums to see paintings of melting clocks, Campbell's soup, and trees painted with brushes. In Richmond Heights, Ohio, you can see live trees with hanging paintbrushes. It is truly amazing that our society promotes self-expression and individualism, accepts facial piercings, tattooed heads, and destructive music and then frowns on people who do not have irrigated green grass perfect world syndrome front yards. George August Zetzer, you are a true artist and you are a dying breed because the dumbed down collective know no better. We may not agree with all of George's art messages, but that's what makes him an artist and distinguishes him from the Mr. Jones who lives across the street who spends his Saturdays cutting green grass and watering flower beds. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please rate and subscribe.